Good morning to you laddies. My name is Jacksepticeye and welcome to a game called The Briefcase. I have never seen this game before. I haven't even heard it mentioned before. Normally these kind of games I hear mentioned somewhere or some other person has done a video on them and you kind of see the name around the place, but I've never heard of this game before at all. Somebody gave me a huge list of horror games, like it, it's an already pre-compiled list and there were some really cool looking games on it. So this is one of them and I decided to give it a shot. So I don't really, I don't even know what engine it is, I don't know who made it or anything. There's no music in the menu, which makes me kind of uneasy. Not because it's scary or anything, but because I think that the game doesn't work right. I think that there's something broken in it, so let's get in. Hopefully there's audio in-game. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're, we're good. We're fine. Find the briefcase and get out. It's one of those games. It's gonna be a find the briefcase and get scared by all the jump scares. This looks surprisingly cool. So this is the FPS creator engine? Maybe? It's kind of like that Jeff the Killer engine. Yeah, and of course it's enter to use everything. Why enter? Worst button ever to open doors. I have to find the briefcase, but what is in the briefcase? Lockhead? We can't go that way. I'm gonna guess this one's locked as well. Not locked. Awesome. Oh, I thought there was something on top of the box. Is that a blood stain? Pucker Enterprises. Pucker up. Oh, that's blood on the wall. Okay. Don't think there's anything in here. The worst part is when you have to use enter, you can't like go around and just spam the use button on things and hopefully pick something up even by accident. Hmm. Okay, not in this room. This is a storage room for storing things. Oh! This place is huge! Who edge? This place is massive. And mess with these? No. Right. So, we're looking for a briefcase, and my guy sounds like he's wearing slippers. Like little moccasins on his feet. <laughs> he's just trundling like- it sounds like he just got out of bed and he's trying to find the toilet. You know that sound? There's a red light over there. That kind of looks like it should be important. Or is that blood? No, I don't know where the red is coming from. It might be just paint. What's the monster in this game? It's obviously going to be a jump scary game. All these games are. Like always. Okay. I, I'm i kind of confused as to where I'm going or what I'm doing. I know I have to find a briefcase, but... Can't go that way! Ooh! Awesome, I can jump! I thought I'd have to go the whole way around again. Okay. <sighs> what are you? Are you a button to open the door? That's loud! Hmm. Should I go that way or should I go up there? This looks like it might not lead anywhere, so I'm gonna go out here. Oh! There's a vent up there. Okay. Oh, key! A piano key, apparently. <laughs> Pick up a key and somebody presses a piano key. That's- Whoa! Hi! Little buddy? Did you guys see that? I, you might not have seen it. Somebody walked past down there. Just a little bit of a creepy crawl, eh? I don't think I can actually get up here anyway. To get into the vent. So the key is for that door up there. Presumably. Okay, don't pop out at me, please. I don't want that. That is not the type of thing that I want. Hmm. Somebody is whispering in the darkness. Oh, it's not that dark, I guess. I'm gonna sprint. Hopefully nothing pops up in front of my face. Sprinting usually causes that. Okay, the environments are nice. Visuals are a little crude. Like, there's aliasing on all the edges or whatever. But that's just the PC elitist inside me talking. But, yeah, the environments are very nice. You know, normally these kind of games are just shitty little corridors everywhere, but this is pretty cool. Okay, so this key is for the other place back there. This requires 
Something, like an eye scan or a hand scan or something. Am I gonna find a hand somewhere? Where'd my little buddy go? Little buddy? Little buddy? So far, I'm gonna congratulate them on not throwing jump scares at me like every five seconds. A game like Ominous, was it, that I played before? I was in the game for five minutes and I already encountered like four jump scares, so... This is pretty cool. See the key for this door? Uh, okay... I still have the key. Although, technically you would still have the key in, a, in real life, right? What are you doing, Box? Why'd you fall? Oh, I got the key card. Can I take the medical kit? Medical kit seems like it would be a lot more helpful. Or that big giant hammer over there! Can I have the hammer and the tape and I can like fashion myself a tape-handed killing machine? Like just sell a tape the hammer to my hand. So I can never let go of it and just beat the shit out of whatever comes up in front of me. Okay, the longer this goes on, the more tense I'm getting and the more I'm waiting for a jump scare. Ooh. Loud, deep noises. See, that's kind of cool. Normally when you open doors in games, it's like, Oh, you open the door, but the key is gone forever. You're never going to be able to use this key ever again. So that's kind of cool. This game is doing a lot, a lot right. Let's hope, hopefully it doesn't just end when I go through this door. <laughs> oh, it's not going to end. No, of course not. There's the briefcase! <laughs> I don't trust this. Why did I pick up the briefcase? Now things are gonna happen. <laughs> Screw you, music! I'm out of here. Ooh. Screw you, music! Oh. Somebody's ready to get in! I'm out of here! I'm out of here! I'm out of here! I'm freaking out of here! What the hell is trying to get in? Is that my little body again? Do not freaking chase me down through this vent. Oh, he's in the room. Oh, the audio is great. Get the fuck out of here. Where do I go? Can I like leave this way? No, do I gotta go back from where I came? I don't want to do that. Can I go up here? Can I go through this vent, please? No! Okay, I gotta go back from where I came. Now is the time when you gotta run. Now is the time to get out of here fast. I have the briefcase. Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. I have your briefcase! Whatever the hell is in it, there better be like something- What the fuck?! What the- ah! No thanks! No! It sounded like something was chasing me! Did I do it? Did I win? I need a confirmation. Oh, there's my confirmation. The game just exited. The game just finished. It, no end, no congratulations, no main menu. It was just... <laughs> straight back to my desktop. Okay, well, that was the briefcase. That was pretty cool. I mean, it didn't really scare me. It didn't really- it built up to something that was gonna happen and then it didn't really happen. Like, at least one jump scare would have been nice, but I applaud them for not falling back on jump scare after jump scare. Too many of these games tend to do that and it's just, eh, it gets boring after a while. But that had some pretty cool atmosphere, the monster banging on the door, or even if it was a monster, it looked like it was just a guy. But anyway, I will leave a download link in the description if you guys want to try that out for yourself. Maybe there's a monster that you can see if you don't, like, sprint like a boss everywhere. Because I- I'm awesome. Let's face it, I am awesome and I finish these games and I don't even see any of the monsters. So, I'm awesome. You guys can try it out and if you find a monster, let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching. Click the annotations at the end of the video for more stuff that Jack the guy has done. And punch that like button in its face. But thank you guys and I will see all you dudes. In the next video! Oh my fucking holy Jesus, he's right there! Oh my.
my god! That is a good scare! Oh Fuck you, little girl! She has her arms outstretched! No! 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 One! 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 Holy crap! Where do I go? What do I do?